What up, everybody? It's your girl, July, from Kickback Couture. Today, I'm going to show you how to keep the swing in your drum recordings, especially when you have played live, more so when you have played live. Keep that natural humanistic swing that you have inside of your body. Now for that preview, though. All right, to start off, I have this guitar strums Dr. Octorex preset here. In the minor scale section, you can see the exact directory right here. So when it's a Reason Factory sound banks, Dr. Octorex, guitar loops, acoustic strumming, strums, 90 BPM, minor scales, grab the first one. Then here in the sequencer, you can see my patterns. One, two, one, two, six. Jumping back into the rack. Going to close the browser for a second. I'm going to utilize some drums from Umph Retro Beats. Going to go ahead and drag in the Bruise Repatch. And we have a ton of uh, tape machine background noise going on. So I'm going to actually navigate to the tape section and uh, turn down the drive a little bit. Before I record this drum pattern, I wanna make sure that I don't have any quantize on. Now down here in my transport area, I have Q record on. That's gonna quantize the notes as I record. So I'm just gonna make sure that's off. It might already be off for you, but if it isn't, let's go ahead and turn that off. So it's all natural. We get all the mistakes, the timing errors, everything, all right? All right, cool. I've gotten a good pattern in. I'm going to go in and uh, fix anything I might have forgotten. I know uh, where I put an open hi-hat. Nope, it's good. All right, cool. So I've just recorded my drum uh, pattern with my 16 pads on my Akai MPK-61. And this is what the MIDI looks like. I haven't done any quantization whatsoever. Let's listen. Turn on the metronome. All right, cool. So loving the way that sounds. The point of this tutorial is to show you how to quantize, but not too much. Now, if you open your tool window with F8 or window, show toolbar, sorry show tool window up here at the top you'll see this quantize drop down area you're going to open that up and right now my quantize value is at 1 8 which is fine for right now but my amount is at 100 percent i want to turn that down so that it doesn't quantize to the grid 100 percent if i select all of these mini notes it's going to be super sticky okay now this is just going to be on the grid and boring no swing whatsoever let's hear it Now, how whack is that? So we're gonna undo that. And instead of quantizing 100%, we can maybe quantize 50%, all right? So let's apply that. And we still got some swing in there. Kinda threw us off. So let's go ahead and change this to 116. If you notice that your, your drums are moving too much, it's because your um, natural human swing was close to a certain grid point. So it automatically snaps it to that point and that's not what we want. So we're gonna change our value to 116 so it won't snap it as far away from where we landed when we actually played, okay? So 50%. All right, gonna select all of these and hit apply. We still got some good swing in there. It's 
still definitely want to change this note out. So, gonna hop into oomph. And uh, let's see what we can find to replace this sound right here. Open hi hats. This one will be fun. Drag that in. Let's add some reverb to that. All right, that is all I have for you in this quick tip video today. Most definitely, let me know what you would like to see next. Don't forget to subscribe either. It's all culture, kickback, and cook up.